So I want to talk about the conversation happening right now about NFL player Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, and Kayla Nicole. So I'll be honest with you, I don't keep up with any of these people, but based on what I'm seeing online, Travis and Taylor are rumored to be dating. Taylor was recently seen cheering him on next to his mother at his football game. And people are going crazy over this, especially Taylor Swift fans. Now, as some of you know, Travis was dating sports journalist Kayla Nicole on and off for five years. They split sometime last year. To my understanding, she left him. There were rumors about him being very stingy with his money making her pay half of everything despite him being a multimillionaire. They both came out and said the rumor was false but Travis did go on a podcast with a bunch of black men and he did give off very cheap vibes saying that he gave her a couple dollars for food and that she gave him money as well. So it did sound like more of a 50-50 relationship dynamic. I saw somewhere else where people were saying he cheated on her. I'm not sure if that's true and recently a different ex-girlfriend has come out warning Taylor about Travis. Travis saying he's a cheater and according to TMZ sources close to Travis say that the cheating rumor is a lie. So the reason I want to talk about this is because a lot of black people are talking about Kayla Nicole. They're making comparisons between her and Taylor and it's kind of snowballed into this larger conversation about black women dating white men and black women being mad about Travis getting with a white woman. The first thing I want to say is I'm not going to pretend that there are more black women who care about this that actually do because I honestly don't think it's most of us but unfortunately there are a loud minority of black women online that are doing too much in my opinion and before I discuss those women I want to say this I see a lot of black people especially black men saying how black women look desperate being mad about Travis getting with a white woman and I do agree However, I do have to point out that these are some of the same men who dragged Kim Kardashian for divorcing Kanye and getting with Pete Davidson. And I don't remember as many of y'all chastising black men about looking desperate and complaining about a white woman going back to a white man. I remember the whole quote unquote community lashing out at Kim. So the community is once again showing their bias against black women who swirl. And I just wanted to point out the fact that this response isn't exclusive to black women. We're not going to sit here and pretend like black men weren't having complete meltdowns over Kim K getting with Pete Davidson. We ain't forgot about that. Now, to the black women who are disappointed that Travis is now allegedly dating a white woman, ladies, most white men date white women, even if they date other races of women. This is not news. Non-black men are not like black men. Most of them are attracted to their own women, even if they date black women. And that's how it should be. And I think some of this disappointment comes from one, the inferiority complex a lot of black women have constantly being compared to non-black women by black men. And I also believe it's our own unwillingness as black women to date a variety of races like everyone else is doing. And because we're not, we think that a man has to only date black women or only date one type of woman because we only date one type of man and we are limiting ourselves to one type of man. To see my exclusive content, visit ChrissyVIP at ChrissyOnline.com and be sure to join the mailing list for updates on future videos. The links are in the description box. Please like, share, and subscribe and thanks for watching. I do feel like black women are projecting their scarcity mindset onto Kayla when I'm quite sure she can get another rich white man or a rich man of any race. She might have one now. We don't know. But notice how Kayla herself is not saying anything. She appears to be thriving and just living her life. Kayla's mistake is that she stayed with Travis for too long. She allowed him to waste too much of her time. And the minute you find out a man is not generous with his money, that's when you leave. You might as well just cut your losses and try to get another man with resources who is actually generous with his money. But you know, we all make mistakes. Kayla is not perfect. Black women are certainly making those same mistakes and even worse with black black men, black men who have way less money than Travis. She didn't become his baby mama. So she didn't leave with a lot of baggage. And if he was fetishizing her, which we don't know that to be true, but if he was, 
Black women get fetishized by black men every day. We don't make a big deal about it. Some black women actually like being fetishized by black men, either for their skin tone or for their big butts. And this is not to say you should accept that from white men or any race of men, but just like y'all don't feel like it's a big enough deal to post about on Twitter, then don't do it with other races of men. Just move on and don't date them. And in my opinion, black women shouldn't even be speculating that that was happening if we have no proof of it. The relationship ended, Kayla moved on, so black women should move on too. And I know they were a fairly popular couple. Everybody talks about celebrities. It's not just black women talking about it. But in my opinion, it would have been in our best interest as black women to sit this one out. And it goes back to what I said about too many of us living vicariously through these celebrity couples. They're regular people. Their relationships end like everyone else's. It's life. And I've also talked about black women man stroking non-black men and men in general in several videos. And I will say again that no group of men deserve to be thirsty by black women because no group of men is doing that with us and we especially shouldn't be thirsting over black men or black adjacent non-black men like Travis who like being validated by black men because that's a huge red flag ladies that he was even on this podcast with these men when you deal with men like Travis you're pretty much getting a black man in white skin and that defeats the purpose of dating within other cultures I saw where black women were joking about Travis having less swag now that he's with Taylor and I'm not saying that any of that is untrue but I just don't think black women should care this much and I certainly don't think it's something we should voice publicly even if we're thinking it because it makes Travis look like a prize when he's not I'd actually rather him be with a white woman given the rumors about him. This is not a loss for black women at all. Rich men who are not generous with their money are never a prize. Travis is Taylor's problem now and that is a good thing. It does not matter how much better he looked with Kayla. And I saw some black women saying, oh, well, he's gonna spoil Taylor and treat her better than Kayla. Maybe he will and maybe he won't. If he does, then that means he doesn't need to date any more black women. Let the white woman keep him. He doesn't need to be with the black woman. And to be honest with Travis, it could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised surprised if he's looking for a sugar mama or if he's there with Taylor mostly for the clout. He may or may not be generous with Taylor. He may even cheat on her like he did with the black woman he was with, allegedly. Only time will tell. Let's not sit up here and act like these non-black men don't cheat on their women too, especially when they are high earning celebrities. I think it's too early to assume that he's just gonna treat Taylor with so much more respect. We don't know that. Either way, he's a white woman's problem now and that's not our concern as black women. There are so many other white men that like black women and I'm pretty sure Kayla can find one. It's really not that serious. And y'all know I am all for black women expanding our options. I think it should be promoted that black women expand our options because more black women need to know that we do have options. But if the relationship happens not to work out, it should not be a big deal. It shouldn't cause this long drawn out discussion about black women in interracial relationships. Now I wanna talk about how black men are responding because I saw where they were on Twitter saying that Travis upgraded from Kayla. And based on the screenshots I saw, it was actually what appears to be a white man who said Travis downgraded because Kayla looked better and it was actually black men who came in saying that Travis upgraded because Taylor has more money and to me that only speaks to the non-traditional orientation of black men and we know that they also feel Travis upgraded because Taylor is white let's be real but black men celebrating Travis getting with a woman who is richer than him is just more proof that they are non-traditional men. They love the idea of men being hypergamous. I keep telling y'all that. All this talk about how all these traditional black men are looking for these traditional black women that don't exist, that is false. And mind you, these are the same men who are making fun of Kayla because Travis, the white man, didn't spend his money on her as if they aren't some of the cheapest, stingiest men on the planet. These are the same men who made fun of Serena Williams for dating and marrying a man who has a lower net worth than she does. But they are praising Travis for doing the same thing. And that lets you know how full of shit these black men are. Black men don't care anything about this relationship. They're just happy that Travis is no longer with the black woman. Why? Because they were mad Kayla was with the white man. That is all this is about. And it's crazy because I'm seeing more content from black men about this than black women. And it's only proving that black men do care when black women date out despite them lying and saying that they don't. They're celebrating what they think is the rejection of a black woman from a white man because they're mad that she was with a white man in the first place and not a black man. 
And they were also mad that black women were attracted to Travis. The entire purpose of their content about this is to send the message to black women that white men prefer white women. They don't want you black women. They only fetishize you. They only want to sleep with you. And white men can be dusty and cheap too. So black women, you might as well just stop dating out and only get with black men. That's pretty much what they're using this situation to say. It's the same fear mongering they do every time an interracial relationship with a black woman fails or a black woman gets unalived or hurt by a non-black man they use these stories to scare black women out of dating non-black men when the statistics show that on average black women are suffering the most abuse struggling the most financially with black men not white men or any other race of men they're trying to scare you out of getting with and that's why I make videos almost every time this happens because it is so manipulative what they're doing. And unfortunately, it works on a lot of black women. You got these dusty men out here trying to tell black women how to date when they have the highest failure rate dating and marrying out than anyone and they do it the most almost out of every demographic of people so they need to be worried about their own failures over the fence with non-black women instead of trying to police the way black women date because the statistics show that black women actually have the most success and longevity in interracial relationships the bad apples are not going to deter black women who want to swirl from swirling the fact that most non-black men date within their race isn't going to stop black women from swirling why? Because there's enough non-black men who like black women to go around. As Dr. Ralph Richard Banks told us, they outnumber the entire black female population. The black women like myself who are actually swirling in the real world, we know what's available, we know what's not. And I implore the black women who don't have the experience to go out and get some and stop letting these dudes online tell you that you have no options because a uh, interracial relationship with a black woman fails. Because I guarantee that you have more options than you think, especially if you are a black woman who is intelligent, feminine, and keeps yourself looking good. You know that getting non-black men is not a problem. You also know that men are men and we have to vet them regardless of race. It's been pounded into our head at this point. We don't need a reminder and we especially don't need a reminder from black men when they're failing the most in their own interracial relationships. So I'm just making this quick video to remind you to ignore the fear mongering coming from black men, ladies. There are bad non-black men and there are good non-black men. Some black women, IR relationships will last and some won't, just like everyone else's. It's life, it's not a big deal. Still explore your options and stop having meltdowns in the comment sections every time your favorite celebrity couple breaks up. It's really not that serious. So that's all I have to say about this. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch up with you in the next video.